If you've worked in educational technology for any length of time, you've heard the term learning object. Hello, this is my second multimedia critical video. I choose this because I feel it's very useful for the audience and it is very clear. So what is a learning object? A learning object is a collection of content items, practice items and assessment items that are combined based on a single learning objective. Learning objects are also known by some other names such as content objects, knowledge bits, units of learning or media chunks. To make online learning possible, learning objects are just one part of the puzzle. Let's look at the entire so this uh, video it is talk about the, the learning objects from the beginning to here uh, even through even though it is very short so far but we can see this video is very logical to state the, each of the information puzzle and see where learning objects fit meet Sandy and Bob they both uh, it shows just like the story uh, talking take a course on occupational health and safety. Sandy's in nursing at U of T. Bob is at Miramichi College. He's going to be an electrician. They both need to take the course in order to graduate from their program. Both will go online to take their course. Sandy's will be for nurses and Bob's will be for electricians. Now meet Dan. He's the instructional designer who built the courses. Dan has also created a similar course for paramedicine, carpentry, and bioscience. Dan utilized learning object theory when designing these courses. Dan knew that about 80% of the content would be the same across all the courses, so he approached his design accordingly. Dan's approach is in line with what is called SCORE. Uh, I like this kind of style. It is like the story talking. That's whatever the age of the audience, um, when they watch this video, so they can understand this information very clearly and very easily. SCORM stands for Shareable Content Object Reference Model. It's the reference model used for creating units of web-based training that can be accepted and understood by any SCORM-compliant LMS or delivery system. SCORM was created to make sure that the people who were building learning management systems and the people who were building online courses were speaking the same language. The industry standardization of SCORM, along with its key characteristics of usability, interoperability, accessibility, and durability, enables Dan to make one course for occupational health and safety, and then with very little effort, create multiple versions for different sectors. The key to all... Also, we can see the mayor's principle already included in this video. So like coherence principle, the uh, special contiguity principle, and the segmenting principle, and the voice image principle. This is the learning object. Within the reference model SCORM, a learning object is called a SCO. A course normally consists of multiple SCOs. When loaded into a SCORM compliant LMS, the SCOs and the LMS talk to one another via the API, or Application Program Interface. The SCORM package tells the LMS the sequencing and order of the SCOs, how the content is organized, including what files exist, as well as what information needs to be set such as bookmarking, tracking, and scoring data. So, and she made, uh, made a very good flash on the screen. And also the background music, it is good. So back to Dan. He focused on the reusability of SCORM when designing his courses and defining the learning objects. So we After can move it fast. It is to criticisms, the reuse. Uh, it is to explain what is uh, um, Men so it is to explain uh, what is detail of this and we can see at the end critical data from on-the-job training mentoring and offline social learning experiences can all be tracked 
and combined with the data from formal learning experiences, it gives a more holistic So at the beginning and the ending, it looks like the same picture. Uh, do you remember the big tree of the colorful? So, however, it's just like the ABA part in music. All the video explained how we can make this colorful tree. So, what is the required information to um, build this tree? So, we can study sure. from this Our video. learner's education. Okay, thank you. And I really like this kind of video.